Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to look at some amazing, amazing new audio repair plugins that are going to work with DaVinci Resolve. So stay tuned. Hey folks, if you've been using DaVinci Resolve for a while, one of the things you probably have been frustrated with that has been in every other piece of non-linear editing software like Final Cut, Premiere, iMovie, uh, just about everything is audio noise reduction. Well, in version 15, we finally got audio noise reduction and it's pretty good. It's not great, it's not phenomenal, but it's pretty good. And a lot of the videos I've done recently, uh, I've used it and I've had great results. As long as I've got a nice clean selection at the beginning for it to learn from, it will do a great job. Well, today I'm gonna to show you some new plugins that I recently ran into, uh, thanks to the guys over at Film Riot. And I'll link them down below. They do a phenomenal job on filmmaking techniques and things. So definitely check them out at Film Riot. But I saw their video on using these new plugins and they were using it with Final Cut. So I went and looked at it and I'm like, wait, these are VST plugins. These should work with anything that supports that, which would be Audacity, which would be Final Cut Pro, uh, Premiere, or DaVinci Resolve. So I checked it out. Sure enough, I was able to get them to work in DaVinci Resolve and it's not that hard. So once you download them, uh, don't have DaVinci Resolve running, go ahead and download them, install them, and then launch DaVinci Resolve. And if they don't show up, which here they are, and we go to Audio Effects, VST Effects, and this is where they are. If you don't see this, then you're gonna go to the DaVinci Resolve menu, go to Preferences, go to Video and Audio, I'm sorry, Audio Plugins. And you should see slash library slash audio slash plugins VST. You should see those available plugins there and just click enable all and then click save and then they should be available to you. Now, what's so good about these? Well, a couple things. Number one, they're super, super easy to use. Basically that you have one or no more than a couple little controls and I've never seen anything that would do as good a job as these plugins do with so little effort. So let's give an example. Here's some footage that I took teaching a class recently. And while you can see I had a microphone there to get the good clean audio, I also had on camera audio just to be able to do some syncing. Well, if I just take this footage, I'm just going to give a quick little in and out point and put this onto my timeline. If we look at the timeline here, there is basically no waveform. Uh, it was super, super quiet, and I'll go ahead and play this. I'll turn it all the way up. I mean, you can barely hear this at all. If I go and I crank the volume all the way up, Let's see if we can hear anything now. First off, on the aircraft, a lot of the machines right out of the box. So you can hear it, but listen to that noise floor. I mean, that noise is absolutely horrible. So I'm going to go over to the plug-in here and go to Noise Remover, drag it onto this, and here's the interface. Now it's gonna start off by recommending some settings. Here it's doing 40% processing, and um, well, let's move this out of the way and let's hear what it sounds like. First off, on the aircraft. Drastic the reduction in noise. I haven't done anything, and it's almost usable. First off, on the aircraft. A lot of the machines. I could pretty much use that. I might need to tweak it a little bit with some EQ to get it to sound even better, but it's far and away better than it was before. So I'm actually going to go to my inspector here and I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, just 
delete it. Oops. Make sure that I don't have any other instances of it. And I'm going to start off with the voice leveler because as I turn away from the microphone, my voice is going to get lower. I turn back, it's going to get higher. So I'm going to use the voice leveler first. Again, very simple plugin. I'm just going to drop it in place. And as I play, you'll be able to see on the graph there how it is changing the voice level. First up on the aircraft, a lot of the machines right out of the box are a little on the twitchy side. They're not going to be as smooth. They're not going to let you get nice, soft. So there, it did a terrific job on raising the noise levels so that they're more consistent but it did really crank up the noise. So now I'm gonna go and drop the noise remover on here and let's see what we get now. First off, on the aircraft, a lot of the machines right out of the box. So it's, there's still some background noise, especially when it's silent. So I can just go ahead and I'm gonna try raising this up, see what we get. Start off looking at in order to make sure things are set up properly. First up on the aircraft, a lot of the machines right out of the That is absolutely amazing. Compared to what I was able to get out of this with just DaVinci Resolve's noise reduction, this is pretty much usable audio. Again, probably could clean it up. I can try some of the, the other options in here, see if one of them is going to do better than the other. First up on the aircraft. A lot of the machines right out of the box are a little on the twitchy side. They're not going to be as smooth. They're not going to let you get nice, soft pans. They're going to be a little too twitchy right out of the box. So if I had to, I could use this audio. Now, it's granted, it's not going to be up to what I would consider a, a normal standard, but if my primary audio had failed, and this was all I had, I could make it work with just these plugins. To me, that is absolutely phenomenal. Now, there's a couple other ones. There's a plosive remover to get rid of those P, P, you know, that popping sound. Reverb, so you can get rid of echo that's in the room. If you're in a big hall or something and you're getting that echo, you can remove the reverb from it. The voice leveler. And when you get the base package, you get the de the noise remover, the plosive remover, the reverb remover, and the voice leveler. As part of a free 14-day trial, you also get their ERD. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these other instances here, and I'm going to drop ERAD on there. And what this is is denoise and de-reverberation all in one with a uh, higher-end features to it. So this is going to give you more control, but you know it's a little more complicated to use. So if you don't need that and you just want the very simple ones, you can get those. Now, I'm going to show you what's kind of super cool about all this right now. So the website is accusonus.com. You get a free trial and if we go to buy this right now, I'm going to add this to the cart so you can see what's going to happen here. Oops, I, got, I already got it in there once. You see that the price on this is $354, which to get all these different tools is a great price. But right now, because they've introduced the voice leveler, they're giving you a huge discount and you can get this whole package, all of those, for $119. That's worth it alone just for the, for the audio noise reduction. Then you add the, D, uh, the uh, D reverberator and the voice leveler, and what you get is a phenomenal package for less than 120 bucks. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can click on it, and I don't get anything. I don't get any money from them. They didn't pay me for this. Like I said, I saw this on Film Riot last night. I went and checked it out. I made sure it worked with DaVinci Resolve so that you could find some new tools that would really 
help improve your audio. So check them out at acusonus.com. Uh, again, link in the description below. It's, it is a link and they say that if you use that link, you'll get 10% off your purchase. I'm not sure if that applies to this discounted price or not. But if you just wanna buy the individual ones, you should be able to get 10% off on that. So check them out. I think you're really gonna love these. They're super easy to use. All their algorithms have patents on them and stuff because nobody else is doing stuff as good as this. So take care, guys. This has been Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.